guys and welcome back to No Bland Makeup where we do makeup and body paint tutorials usually with a cosplay twist and if you don't know who this character is don't worry you're not the only one. Um, <laughs> so what I like to do when Marvel's coming out with a new movie for characters I don't know is I'll do a body paint on them and research the character. So if you want to know more about Cersei from the Eternals I'll have a link to my blog somewhere. <laughs> But to start off, I'm going to apply some foundation. Um, this is just to give me more of an even base to start with. In the beginning, I would use something a little bit lighter feeling, not necessarily lighter coverage, just because of the amount of concealer I'm about to put on my face is going to... I have a lot of issues with that, so just keep that in mind. Alright, so next thing we're going to do is apply some concealer. Um, normally I would apply this strategically in spots to make um, my face slimmer or stand out more in certain areas. In this case, I'm just trying to change my face shape completely. So what I'm going to do is um, apply copious amounts of concealer. Um, and it's going to work together with the bronzer that I'm going to put on to kind of change my face shape. But basically I want to highlight certain aspects of my face, make it look a little bit longer. That's why I'm bringing that concealer down so far. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to bake. Now if you've been on my channel for a while or know me in real life, you probably know why I hate baking so much. It, for me, it just dries my skin out. I have dry skin to begin with. It's not a fun time, and I don't really like the way it feels. Personally, I'll have a video linked somewhere about baking the pros and cons and stuff. But um, because I use so much concealer, this is the only way that it's gonna set, and I really want it to stay in place for what I'm gonna be doing. So, um, yeah. Also, make sure that when you're um, putting concealer on your nose to, and then baking your nostrils to um, maybe blend it a little bit better because my concealer got stuck there for a while. It was not a fun time. So now that we've emphasized certain parts of our face, we are going to shrink the other parts. <laughs> um, so basically what I did is put way too much conce er, concealer. Ugh way too much uh, bronzer in certain areas. Um, I did this on purpose this time anyway um, because I was going to blend everything out make it a little more seamless later but there are certain areas where I really needed to be a little bit darker um, just to kind of emulate shadows there so my face looks a little bit different. That's chunky if you will. I've never seen, well I can't even say that. I don't think I've seen a um, superhero with a round face. Please point me in their direction. Thank you. Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and kind of like contour the socket of, the, not really the socket of my eye, but that like part by your nose, bridge of your nose I guess. Um, mostly so I can make my nose look more defined. Um, if you're going to contour your nose though, just make sure that you have the most minimal amount of product on the sides of your nose. <laughs> That's kind of what gives it away is when you have that streak and it makes it super noticeable. So you definitely want to make sure you blend everything out really, really well. So next we're going to take some black body paint. Um, I'm going to be outlining anything that you would normally outline if you were drawing a comic book character. So around my face, the jawline to kind of like make it a little more like cartoony. Um, also, where right under my cheekbones, the nose, anything that you essentially any features you want your comic book character to have and also any very very dark shadows so um, around the lips so for the actual bodysuit I kind of bounced back and forth between colors um, so if it looks like I'm stopping something and then starting it again that's probably because I am <laughs> so um, the way I thought this would be easier to do is to kind of wing it like I normally do um, Mm. I would honestly just get some white eyeliner or like something that's easy to take off and give yourself an outline and go from there. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> it's a lot easier than what I did. But um, if you don't want to do that, what I essentially did was I started drawing out the top parts of the suit. Um, basically anything that was going to be this like greenish color, not super highlighted or anything like that. Um, and started drawing that out 
Once I had parts of the basic shape, I started going in with some black body paint um, to kind of outline all of that and then started adding some highlights after that. Now for the outline in black, you're going to have to do this anyway. I would probably suggest doing it after, um, just once you have everything kind of solidified and where you're going to put it so that way you don't have to um, erase anything like I had to do with some spots here. Um, and it also kind of brings the look together a little bit more. I think that's honestly why I started doing that in between everything else that I was doing just so I can make sure that this is kind of how I wanted it to turn out. So if you decide to do it the hard way and just kind of like wing it, um, try once you have things kind of where you want them, start outlining in the black and see if it's kind of going where you want it to go. If not, you might have to start erasing some stuff and start over. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a pain in the butt. So <laughs> just giving you a heads up as somebody who does that fairly frequently. Then I'm going to take some dark green body paint um, and this is going to work as darker shadows but not black essentially. You'll see what I mean. It kind of like comes all together. Um, and I just kind of started drawing in more of the bodysuit. This part is not the hard part. This is actually a little bit easier. Where I screw up comes a little bit later. So now I'm going to use a... The color says lime, but it's like a neon yellow with a little bit of green in it, but not really neon kind of color. And this is going to be my highlight color, also the primary color for the front part of the bodysuit. Um, yeah. Remember how I said that you shouldn't just wing it no matter how fun it, it seems at the moment? Um, yeah, this is why. <laughs> so essentially it's not that big of a deal because you can basically reposition the holes that she's supposed to have on the front part um but i didn't notice until afterwards and um yeah if any human-esque female-esque person thing is wearing this somebody's gonna pop a nipple <laughs> so just kind of keep in mind um when you're drawing clothes where people's anatomy would essentially be if they were actually you know wearing it also for something like this that's supposed to be symmetrical yeah you get a little bit of leeway because like maybe she has a boob that's bigger than the other one who doesn't but you, you want the holes to kind of be the same size <laughs> so also kind of keep that in mind when you're doing this um I know somebody out there is probably wondering, why do you leave in your mistakes or tell us your mistakes? So that way you don't make them. <laughs> As I say, learn from me. So I promise you I've screwed up more than this and you guys just haven't seen it. So <laughs> just keep in mind, when you're drawing this out, you definitely want to keep symmetry in mind, especially if somebody's looking at you straight on from the front it's gonna be a lot more noticeable so just kind of keep that in mind and then to add some dimension to the bodysuit I'm gonna be taking that first green color that I picked up the like regular green I guess and um, applying some of that on top um, just to give myself some shadow if you guys saw my last um, body paint you'll understand how important it is to pick um, a light source or a direction in which your light source is coming from so that way you can make sure that everything looks a little more realistic a little more cohesive um, and your shadows and highlights are kind of going in the same direction so definitely want to kind of keep that in mind when you're doing this also if you want to blend out body paint some more you can always um, take a little bit of water um, on like a clean brush and kind of move it around basically or you can use your finger to kind of blend everything then once i was done with all of that i started drawing in the rest of the pieces of the bodysuit um basically there was like a green regular green if you will section um so i started drawing that in i did it in um whatchamacallit 
the regular green, not the darker one. Um, yeah, I'm saying um a lot. I don't like that. I would edit it out, but I'm one too lazy and two. How am I gonna get better at public speaking if I keep editing out my ums? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, now it's in my head. Whatever. But if you're wondering who I'm talking to, I'm not talking to anybody. I'm literally jamming out to some Menangan salsa. Yes. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna speed through this next part a little bit because it's nothing really new. I'm just outlining the rest of the bodysuit, also adding, adding in some dark shadows. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Just make sure that the um, cutouts in this bodysuit are even and you'll be fine. I also added in some, what I like to call, random highlights. Um, I used a lime-ish green, I also used some white body paint, um, just to add a little bit of highlighting in certain areas. You always want to make sure that if you're going to shade something, that you add a little bit of a highlight to it, so that way it evens itself out, it looks more three-dimensional, and it looks a little bit more realistic, especially for something that's like, kind of the newer generation of comics where they have more of an emphasis on that instead of, of like shades of highlighting and um, shading as opposed to just like stark lines to kind of emphasize like the shading. If that makes any sense. I really hope that does. <laughs> then once I was done with the bodysuit, I just um, basically drew on some gloves. <laughs> uh, this is probably the easiest part of everything because I literally just painted a good chunk of my arm green. Now, you wanna make sure before you put your arm completely down that you kinda wave it around and dr let the, the paint dry, otherwise it's gonna go on everything else. You're not gonna have as fun of a time, and yeah. Now, to finish this all off, I did draw in some eyes. I know I got contact so that I wouldn't have to do that, but this is the life we live in. <laughs> I also didn't get white ones. I should probably do that. But um, basically, the eye socket part of my eye, I'm just going to paint that completely white and then outline it in black. And it sounds easy, that's because for once it is. Also, don't forget to draw in your eyelid just above that. Yes. <laughs> and that's pretty much it, to be honest. So, yeah. Sorry that this one's a little bit longer than my videos normally are. I took the long way around doing this apparently and it shows. <laughs> so basically. Um, but if there's any other characters you guys want to see me do, any that maybe other people don't know about, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Also don't forget to subscribe because you never know what's coming out of my channel next. Alert. I'm going to have another Sailor Moon video later. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. And yeah. Bye.